Uh, first up, this story in the New York Times today, apropos in particular, if you are uh, reading that Guy Lawson book that we uh, interviewed him about uh, last, for last Friday, The Octopus, that book is so fantastic because it, it actually, there's multiple stories wrapped up there. One is just the incredible corruption that exists on Wall Street. Two is just this amazing story of a con man getting conned. And three is also the implications of what it says about our elite. But um, one of those aspects of the book was this notion of front running. Front running is basically when a trader sees what's happening in the market and gets in and gets out or gets in, I guess, before information may be disseminated to the public. So this front running can happen any number of ways. You could essentially do this by setting up a, a computer algorithm that so, shows uh, the trades that are being placed and just jump ahead. Get in there uh, quick with the knowledge that uh, there's these buy, uh, there's all these... Uh, trades that are about to be made. Another way, of course, is to get inside information, which allows you to front run the market, information that's not yet made public. Now, of course, there are regulations about this. You're not supposed to get that information. And as written in the New York Times, they are supposed to be among Wall Street's most closely guarded secrets. Changes in research analysts' views, up or down, of a company's prospects. But some of the nation's biggest brokerage firms appear to be giving a handful of top hedge funds an early peek at these sentiments, allowing them to trade on the information before other investors get the word. This uh, was at play with the Facebook IPO, because institutional traders knew that analysts were saying, ah, you know, this thing eh, may be a little bit overpriced. And we've just, uh, based upon the research and the information that we have now, we're, we're probably going to tell people that it's a little overpriced. <laughs> but uh, not in time, of course, for any of the uh, suckers to be aware of it. The signals come from questionnaires that analysts answer and submit electronically, either monthly or quarterly, to some of their firm's largest hedge funds clients. Chief among the questions posed to the analysts are about the uh, possible earnings surprises at companies they follow. So it's nothing so explicit like, hey, um, earnings are way down. I know you're expecting them to be high, but they're way down, so you might want to uh, short this company. It's more like, hey, cough twice if there's something going down here. <laughs> what analysts tell investors about the companies they follow and when is central to the concept of a level playing field on Wall Street. When disseminated, analyst downgrades and upgrades can make a stock sink or soar. Getting that information early can be very profitable for traders. It's also called cheating. As a result, regulatory rules require brokerage firms to restrict the information flow from research de uh, departments to prevent the potential for trading ahead of research, research reports. Those research reports are, of course, uh, public information, but tips as to what those reports are going to reflect is not public. So in one document from BlackRock, one of the bigger hedge funds, a 2009 document on the firm's analyst surveys is even more explicit, writing to the analysts, we're trying to front-run recommendations. <laughs> it said, referring to trading ahead of analyst recommendations. James Baudenhausen, a BlackRock spokesman, said, quote, The language in the Barclays Global Investors Internal Memos, 
BlackRock has since acquired uh, Barclays, global investors. Internal memos is sloppy and inaccurate and totally inconsistent, not only with the stated purpose of the survey, but also with the high ethical standards by which BlackRock does business. That sound you're hearing is people taking their money out of the stock market. It's, it's basically as if you are playing poker or blackjack, and the dealer gets to, uh, well, I guess someone sitting next to you gets to play side bets, and they get to see what the dealer has before you do. That's more or less, I guess, the equivalent. Maybe if I played some other uh, card games, I'd have a better analogy. But that's more or less it. So enjoy. Enjoy.